Speak of things that are horrible dumpster fires, you know what's not a horrible dumpster fire? What's that? These episodes of Digimon, because these are pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> this time, on the aspect of cast, uh, Karada unleashes Belfamon, and he's like, yeah, just start destroying the city. And everyone's just like, oh, well, <clears throat> crap, that's not good. <laughs> I thought yeah. you wanted to take over the world, what is this? What yeah? Uh, what shows what shows power more than just wiping out a city? I mean, to be fair, yeah, fair enough. Some missing opinions on this episode, but the next tour, yeah, mm. like I <clears throat> liked this one, but it's also kind of like wow, there's some stuff that just comes out of nowhere. Like maybe I missed something. Did they establish that the uh, the little necklace around Toma's nope. sister? No, nothing. I. I, I I had the same thought. I was just like, this was never mentioned until this episode. I I don't even know Karada gave her the necklace. It's because right. she wasn't wearing one, I don't think. And if she was, they didn't point it out at any point. Yeah, it's like there's also the other. <laughs> you know, what, I should probably talk about that first. So Karada just yeah, he sons Belfamon. He's doing his thing. You know, he's like yeah, destroy the sea. Toma just makes him a device to control Belfamon, which I guess he can just kind of do now. <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> yeah, Toa stops it much, so much untold. Yeah, it's, a lot of this just kind of comes out of nowhere. And they're like, okay, you know what? We need to save Toma's sister. And the only way to do that is to put her through, like, actual like real just straight up surgery to fuse her with a bio digimon so basically turn her into one of the three losers that they beat earlier yeah and i'm just sitting Which, here it's like i have questions I, so my issue is like okay i get it it's maybe like an ethical question especially for the digimon involved but it's like it would, if it would save her, is she doesn't have to transform. Yeah. Like, because we saw a bit of the process before, where we had the three other Bao Digimon people, or whatever, the Bao humans. And they just, like, Karana <laughs> shoved them naked into a tank that flooded with goo. And they, like, seem like they're just struggling and screaming horribly. And by the time they came out, they were just stronger, and they had new forms. Well, that was so, for the power-up. That wasn't the initial Yeah, procedure. but I'm sure it's like, so what <clears> kind <throat> of surgery exactly do you go through to turn someone into a bio-Digimon? Because it's I like, no I, I I'd assume you'd <clears throat> also be shoved into a tank, and they would just goo you, right? But it's you like, think? this is like the... Yeah, they're putting her under, like, anesthesia, and they're, like, you know, like, knocking her out, and it's, like, she's in a little, like, hospital gown, and it's presented, like, this is, like, a legitimate, like, actual, like, real operation they're gonna do, right? There are surgical tools on the table. Yeah, like, what, where are they gonna cut open to shove the Digimon inside of her? And so... So here's the thing with the necklace, and it's like, oh, it was a necklace with, like, a bomb in it or whatever. It's like, if they had revealed that earlier, it would have been obvious that Toma was, was like, just playing along, even though it was obvious. Because uh, it's like, yeah. what they, it's like I think... oh, his, his sister has, like, a weird bomb necklace on, and he's cooperating until the right moment. I think what would be a perfect thing would be, like, yo... For Roland to be like, oh, Karaz's such a nice guy, he even gave me this necklace. And you get, like, a close-up on it, and you see, like, a close-up on, like, Toma's eye, just like, oh, is that so, you know? Yeah, yeah. And that'd be like, oh, there's something up, but it wouldn't be up to be like, okay, well, yeah. And <clears throat> from there, it'd be like, you know, of course it'd be obvious that, you know, he's got an ulterior move. But, I mean, it's already obvious. <laughs> So it's like, yeah, why not? Yeah, you show out the sister stuff earlier, what made the heel turn believable with, you know, the extra info, especially in the necklace. The Raul going back was kind of forced and rushed for the sake of the... Yeah, pretty much. It's... 
Listen, it feels like something I'd see in Ruby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <clears throat> stuff like that wasn't good yeah so yeah basically Toma cooperated with uh, Karada up to this moment so that it's like okay we have to take the necklace off her to, to do the surgery and as soon as they do Toma's like alright get it Galmon <laughs> <laughs> this is the exact moment we've waited for and there's no other way we could have accomplished this <laughs> Yeah, and then Toma, and like, meanwhile, Karada's wrecking, like, the city with Belfamon, and Toma's like, all right, now's my chance to do this, too, and he presses a button, and Karada's, uh, device detonates. Yeah. I should mention and it's this, like, yeah, there's one thing I do want to bring up before you leave the scene, and there's that hmm. I do want to quickly mention, it's like, first off, yeah, we see some of the Didron options, that's like, mostly rookies, there's some champions, freaking Anjuwamon! <laughs> That seems Incredible. like a bit much. Seems like a bit much. <laughs> but yeah, also um, I do want to put something that's really weird as soon as I noticed, which is that none of these doctors are wearing face masks. <laughs> and it's huh. like, yeah. uh, why? What? Okay, I, I don't know, man. I feel like this is like... I feel like by the they, time this came out, people would know that, like, you need to not spit inside the, like, freaking, you know? Yeah, uh, they, they didn't think to wear, uh, face masks, but they thought to give Galmon, uh, uh, an outfit. Yeah, and they're all wearing, like, the hair nut, so it's like, <laughs> alright, we're, we're doing it some type of invasive surgery, but it's not invasive enough that we need to be worried about, like, accidentally coughing and infecting the wound or something. <laughs> Yeah, it's very I, we'll, weird. It's very odd. We'll, I'm pretty sure we'll never see the process, so whatever. We'll never see it, but I am morbidly curious what the crap they were gonna do. Yeah. So, by the way, um, Toma makes the device for Karada to control Belfamon, and it's like a headset, right? Yeah. Toma should have given him some of his own medicine and put, like, a full-on, full bomb in that thing. I mean, did put a bomb into it, but wasn't strong enough to, like, do much. That's, it, yeah. that's what I'm saying. He should have put, like, a <laughs> strong bomb in it. And it's like, okay, and Karada's done. It's, Karada's done. Yeah. You've dealt with him. <laughs> Please, someone make it someone who's good at this, make enough of that scene where it's like Toma's like, okay, fine, I've got this. And he just like, yo, know, clicks a bun, and you see Karaz's little headset thing just explode, and you see like blood just <sighs> gush out, and you just hear like <laughs> screaming over like the aircom or something. <laughs> like, you know what? Actually I could do that pretty easily, just like <laughs> Toma just hits the bun, you see it start to explode, cut to Belfamon, and you just hear horrific, like, screams from the other side. <laughs> it's, it's just like, just, just calls up Mastry, it's like, we got him, it's over now. <laughs> I blew his head off. <laughs> we we did, you know, Monster's like, wait, did you? He's like, yeah, I did exactly what you couldn't. <laughs> I know, I know that'd be, like, so dark for a kid's show, but, like, that'd be kind of perfect. You have to be real. Oh, yeah, no, they, they have to, like... Ikudo gets, uh, was, is it the next episode where we get Ravemon, or is yes. it this one? Yeah, that's the next oh, okay. episode where we have the return of the horny animation director. Oh yeah, yeah, I noticed. <laughs> oh yeah, like immediately, it's like, oh yep, yeah, that's the guy. <laughs> hey, good. good. Give us more good animation. God, the next two episodes are just so well animated. Holy crap! Yeah, like this one's pretty good too, but it's like, jeez, those ones though. <laughs> Yeah. Meanwhile, Masaru, uh, Masaru's back at the bunker with Agumon's egg, and he's like, oh man, I want to go help, but I can't because he won't hatch. Yeah, and the big thing is, it's like, no, Masaru, you need to be on the front lines because, you know, even if you can't do anything, you can at least, like, you know, be there for your friends and all that stuff. Yeah. By the way, uh, 
it drives this isn't for this episode specifically but it drives me crazy that there's a mega level digimon standing on the sidelines and not helping yes bancho leomon i love you you are useless Listen, he's got to be the cool mentor character standing on the side, just just being like, yeah, like, I'll just, you know, your fists don't shine bright enough. Oh, I'll show you the ways of the true evolution or whatever. And he just sits back, you know, he's, he's just like, you know, he's just got a comic book open, you know, he's just reading an Archie comic, <laughs> just scratching yeah, his no. butt. Yeah, no, <laughs> shut up, Bancho Leo, I'm gonna go help. <laughs> Yes, just look over. He's got the manga of Naruto. He's just <laughs> laughing his ass off. The two, the two chessmon are over there in their ultimate forms, doing their best. While Bancho Leomon stands on a building with his arms crossed. It's like, <laughs> ah. I'm just trying to think. What would be the funniest thing for him to be reading or looking at? <laughs> like he's. <laughs> a, he's just looking at like your little like National Geographic magazine. <laughs> it's about lions. <laughs> he's just looking at the lions. He's like just turns on side and our like little like your pail <laughs> just folds out. He's like ooh. <laughs> see, I was, see, I I was thinking like like porno mags like he's like, yeah he's like yeah master, he's like he's like master roshi over there oh yeah that's the implication i was getting at okay <laughs> like lion pit up yeah 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 <laughs> oh man <clears throat> it's like oh leomon <laughs> But yeah, everyone's just trying their hardest. It's like they're not doing much to Belphamon sleep mode. Belphamon sleep mode is just like it's too powerful. I it's do want it's... yeah. They can't hurt it. <clears throat> I do a Tamon to be like, you know, I already liked Belphamon. I already thought it was like a cool design. I I think it just barely escapes the trap of being generic and rolls over into being something really sick. These episodes made me like Belphamon even more. This thing is awesome. <laughs> I love its weird little like sleep mode with the crazy like clock and it's just such a cute, weird, insane little thing. <laughs> And, like, they break the controller and Karaz like, okay, fine, I'll just do it myself then. He just walks into a random device and beams himself inside of Belphamon. Yeah, basically Karada digitizes himself and just <laughs> fires himself as a beam into Belphamon's body. <laughs> It's like, <laughs> I was wondering, what are you gonna do if, like, you know, freaking Toma didn't create the little Digimon controlling thing? And it turns out, the answer is he will just become Nosferatu Zod. He will just become that generic demon, man. <laughs> just become the monster. Yeah, this is probably do a cap take of it to be like, yo... Yeah, Belfon's in the <clears throat> card game. Keep in mind, these are cards I was seeing, like, way back, like, you know, right before they first went to the digital world to, like, get the Mercurymon. This is, like, back during the Biomon fight where this was, like, I was seeing this crap. And it's like, oh, yeah, Belfamon, yo. <clears throat> Sleep mode, it, like, negates attacks and effects and stuff. It's really cool. Uh, when it just, like, evolves you and put a rage mode from your trash under, it's a really cool thing. Rage mode's effect is that, you know... If it's under a sleep mode, it, like, discards it, so you have the offensive version, and it just fights really hard and does a bunch of damage. Really cool Digimon, uh, deletes a bunch of Digimon that are level 5 or lower. That's weirdly a super consistent thing with this thing, that specifically just beats ultimates. <laughs> but then we also got the Karata card, and I'm just gonna read this out. Your turn, when you would play a Digimon card with Belphamon in its name, by deleting one of your Digimon with Gizumon in its name, where's the play cost of the play cost- Where's the play cost by the play cost of the deleted Digimon, so it lets you get Belphamon out easier, because of course. Yeah. 
end of a pawn's turn once per turn. Draw one, then trash one card from your hand. Then, by placing this tamer under one of your Digimon with a Belphamon in its name is its Bomb Digivolution card. <laughs> Delete one of your opponent's lol 6 Digimon. I, I thought for some reason it was a deletion effect. This entire time I had the spoiler that Karada becomes fucking Belphamon. Yeah. <laughs> this entire when, time it was <clears throat> right there in front of my face. Yeah, and when he becomes him, he uh, he goes into his awakened state. Yeah, which honestly makes sense. It's like, you know what, if anything could force him to wake up, I feel like that would. <laughs> that makes logical sense. That would be like, you take over and you force him to transform. <laughs> and yeah, we had freaking Belphamon Rage Mode, who I didn't actually realize until now, just straight up has, like, claws made of, like, fire, and that the gauntlets don't have fire claws attached to them. They just have little openings for his finger claws to go through. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Yeah, so I think, in that, like, the end of the episode, where it's like, oh yeah, Belfamon Rage Mode's a thing, and it's like, ah, oh, Masaru's coming to the fight, Oh, it's so bad, though, we're all gonna lose. I think so, yeah. Alright, so should we move on, then? Uh, I guess, hmm, do I want to do all three of these as one big episode? Because, ah, no, they are kind of, like, one arc, but they're three very distinct acts, I feel like. I I don't know. I mean, that's up to you. I, I think I'm gonna like <clears throat> do them as three separate things because boy, we're probably gonna have a lot to talk about. All right. <clears throat> okay. So yeah, uh, final thoughts on this one, I guess. Pretty good. Uh, there, there's like the things with Thomas's sister and like whatever that's weird, but I mean, yeah, I, I think it's all right. Bit of, like, you know, Avnor plot points, but, you know what, for the most part, yeah, I like this. Oh, you also finally got to see uh, the Pawn Chessmon's ultimate forms. Yeah, yeah they're, they're Rook pretty and, cool, yeah. Rook and Bishop. I like them. Rook and Bishop. And you know what, I did not realize Rook Chessmon just has, like, <laughs> guns for hands, and that's pretty neat. I like it. It's pretty good. I like I like the specifically Rook Chessmon is the defensive one, and Bishop Chessmon is the offensive one. Yeah, straight up, that's just straight up how they work in the card game too. Mm. Like Bishop <laughs> Chessmon, the White Chessmon line are mm. all about like attacking and getting reboots so they can be safe, and their whole deal is that like. If they're deleted on your turn, then you get to play a chess mob of equal rank from your hand. But it's like, you know, with the black chess mon, like, you know, rook chess mon, they've all got, like, blockers so they can, like, block attacks and sacrifice themselves. And if they get deleted on your opponent's turn, then you get to play a chess mob of the same rank from your hand. So it's like, okay, yeah, one's the whole go in there, do offense card. And the other one's like, yeah, just leave these back and just, you know, use them as, like, sacrificial pawns so that you can just, you know, <clears throat> get other chessmon out and just do all their big crazy things. Just kind of keep it going. Yeah, it's a whole cool little deal. Ah, but, so yeah. oh. I hope we see their megas by the end. I feel fairly confident that we will. I, I mm. feel like that's just gonna happen. And we probably won't even have build up to it. It'll probably just happen off screen. I'd be fine to just see it happen, because usually yeah. the, the side characters don't get anything. Yeah, it's like <clears throat> it'd be cool if we got an arc for the chessmon and their whole like evolution thing, but I'm fine with them just showing up and being like, oh hey, next stage, let's go and having a cool little moment. I, I think yeah. that's good.